Meanwhile, in Tupac news, the shooting of Tupac Shakur once again underscores the violence that has surrounded this man since he shot the superstar. To Pulled up, open fire, Shakur and Knight. Tupac Shakur was shot several times at the chest. Shakur was pronounced dead. Machiavellianist, Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot at Feel me? Bitch, this got a bar full of black dudes. Say you wanna see my star in my tattoo. And on all his tattoos meant something. He was the first rapper to be heavily tattooed. I couldn't find a place to rest until I got that dog like tatted on my chest. Fans fell in love with his swagger and with his utter refusal to tone down his message. He did make us as tattooers an awful lot of money. Only Gab can do it like this. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab. I'm in the building. And this is Machiavelli Media. Today, I want to talk about how Tupac's tattoos left a permanent mark on society. It's real talk, man. Real talk. Or should I say real spill? Before Pac, tattoos were frowned upon. Oh, yeah. It was like a jail thing. Couple guys had jail tattoos or bikers was tatted all up. Now, tattoos were always a tribal thing, Afrocentric, along with body piercings and stuff like that, but never to the degree of like, you know, being covered with ink. And you couldn't even get a job if your tattoos were showing. I remember my nephew, he got a job at Chick fil A and he made him wear a sleeve on his arm. It's funny, man. And Tupac inspired so many people through his work and through his visions, but also with his style. Now, I can tell you, me personally, the first tattoo I ever got, Pac inspired it. I was a teenager and I wouldn't got the tat and I came out the tattoo parlor and I swear to God, the music that all eyes on me was playing in my mind. You couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> I had one tat on my arm, and I actually wrote my sleeve up so everybody could see it. Now, how corny is that? I wanted everybody to see it. I said, I paid for it. I want people to check it out. So I'm walking around with one sleeve up so everybody can see my tat. But yeah, this video ain't about what Tupac tattoos meant how many he had or you know why did he get them just talking about the the magnitude of this one guy and you know him getting some tattoos the ripple effect I had on society it's true go back go back in the 90s man i mean you might see one guy with a single tattoo one rapper maybe one or somebody in the R&B group but they have multiple tattoos like that no way Pac started that and it's funny because some people say that happened after he hooked up with Madonna you know Madonna kind of weird she exposed a lot of dudes to a lot of things look at Dennis Rodman who also became heavily tatted after he hooked up with Madonna. But I ain't gonna give Madonna that much credit. I don't know why Pac got the tats, but he did. And it was a gradual process. He got one on his arm, then he got another one, then he got the thug life. I don't know the order, but you know, you saw it unfold. You had MTV back in the day. But look how normal it is now, though. Look at the athletes. Football players, the basketball players, you know what I mean? Um, in our communities, older people, younger people, male, female, it's like you gotta have a tat. 
You ain't got a tat? What? People be shocked. You know what I mean? Back in the day, if you had a tat, people were shocked. You know, you, you, I heard Snoop Dogg get it up the pot before. And, you know, that's like <laughs> that's like pulling teeth. But, yeah, Snoop was talking about, you know, Tupac brought tattoos and snapbacks to the game. It's true. You know what I mean? Um, tell me what you guys think in the comments section. Did Tupac inspire you to get a tattoo? You know, all these countless rappers that's tatted up. <clears throat> Should they credit that to Tupac? Not saying that everybody was inspired by Tupac, but do you think they notice how slick Pac tattoos used to look with the Rolex sitting on them, going across the, th the outlaw tattoo on his arm? Come on, man. They had to notice it. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Did Tupac start the tattoo mania in hip hop? Or should I say not only in hip hop, but in society as well? You hear one of Tupac's tattoo artists said itself, yo. And all his Tupac was the first mixed. rapper that was tatted up like that. We made a lot of money because of Tupac. Like, not from Tupac paying us, but Tupac making the tattoo industry boom. Like, all of y'all got to give Pac his credit. That's what the, the tattoo artist was saying. We made money. Pac put people's asses in the seats. They come ahead and get inked up. He did that. If I'm wrong, I want you guys to tell me in the comment section what rapper was tatted up like that before Pac. Tell me, and I'll make a, another video saying, you know what? I stand corrected. Such and such had 25 tattoos under his shirt in 1991. <laughs> but it's got to be somebody impactful. Like, if he ain't have an impact on society, then miss me. Because guess what? Pac had an impact on society. That's right. If he couldn't affect the masses, there's no point of bringing him up. You know, the first R&B group I saw with tattoos was Jodeci. But at that point, they wasn't even tatted. One of them might have had one thing on his arm. Somebody else in the group had another thing on his arm. And over the years, you know, they started getting tattoos on their face, what Devontae did. But like I said, Tupac had the tattoo game on lock. From like 9-4 or 9-3, until, you know, when he died. But yeah, Tupac made tattoos popular. I'm telling you, that thug life across Tupac's stomach is probably just as recognizable around the world as Superman's emblem or Batman's emblem. It's crazy. But it had be kept tattoos had become like Tupac's trademark. Straight up. Especially the thug life. And let me clear something up. When I say Tupac made tattoos acceptable, I mean he made them popular to the point where everybody got them. So if a company won't hire a guy with a tattoo and everybody got tattoos, he wouldn't have nobody to hire. So <laughs> You know, ultimately, it's power in numbers. Now, I was like, oh, it's just a tattoo. And, and trust me, it's still some places, if you got tats all over your face or, you know, in the wrong spot, you won't get the job. You know what I mean? They'll find a way not to give it to you. But, you know, and, and plus, here's something else. When I say Pac inspired other guys to get tats, it wasn't them guys just trying to be like Pac. But they saw 
How the girls was reacting to the tattoos? Dudes was like, oh, let me try that real quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me get a couple tats. You know, because the ladies love tattoos. I mean, yo, it is what it is. But you know what? And the crazy part is, you know, you have the progression. Like, things evolve over time, right? So Pac had a couple tattoos, but he wasn't completely covered. Like a little Wayne. And look how the tattoo game evolved in hip-hop. You went from one or two tats to about 20 tats. So you can't count how many tattoos Wayne and Baby got. <laughs> Baby got, got tattoos on his head. And that's one that I, I don't think Pac would have went that far with it. Because Tupac, like they say, Tupac tattoos meant something to him. And I'm sure baby tattoos mean something to him too. But I just don't know what it is. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is. But, you know, I know what some of the stuff mean. But, yeah, I'm talking about all the tats all over the face and all under the neck. Hey, they look like they hurt, man. You know, um... I got a couple myself, but not to the degree like that. I tell you, man, um, those dudes better hope they never run out of money. That's, I just can't imagine being 75 years old with baby tattoos, man. Uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. But I didn't rambled enough, y'all. I need you guys to share and like this video. I also need you to subscribe to the channel because this is Machiavelli Media. And I'm your homie Gab. It's been a pleasure as always, y'all. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace.